welcome back to Desperate Living, Cultural Chaos and Forgotten Stories. And some time ago I worked on a new release of The Man From Uncle. Not the original TV show, but rather the Guy Ritchie remake, reimagining, however you want to look at it. And the disc has arrived today. So let's have a look what's inside. I've got two copies here the um, UHD and the Blu-ray. Let's just open up the UHD. They seem, as far as I can tell, to be the same packaging and the same contents, so no point opening up both, is there? Now, I was a big fan of The Man From Monk, or still am, the, uh, the TV series. And so, my contribution to this particular release is discussion on the original show and its influence and its influence, its influence not just on this particular movie, obviously, but, uh, but on spy films, its connection to the, the Bondsploitation series of movies that appeared in the 1960s and so on. So I'm not really talking about this film. What do I think of the Guy Ritchie film? It's all right. It's not bad. It's not something that I would necessarily choose to watch, but it's not the worst Guy Ritchie film, has to be said. I'm not a fan of him as a director. But, you know, let's see what we have here. Um, oh, a nice little booklet. Well, that's unexpected, to be honest. Uh, this is an Arrow release, rather than coming out through one of the majors, as this film would have done initially when it was first issued. And here we have a poster. I remember this from being everywhere at the time. And that's the Arrow artwork. So you might think quite an odd title for a label like Arrow to be putting out, but yeah, Arrow have done plenty of more mainstream films as well as the more obscure cult genre films, and, and this is one of them. It also has a double-sided sleeve, as is often the case. So this one has the original artwork on the other side. Um, the dare creative artwork that we see that we see here on one side and the original poster slash disc art on the other. Now I mean this is a movie that's like less than ten years old. So a bit odd in many ways for it to be coming out in this kind of collector edition. Then again, you look at what um, companies like Second Sight have done with perhaps even more recent genre films and cult films. And you can see that there is a growing market for these, these newer movies to come out in special editions. The Man from Uncle was a show that I was always very, very fond of. We didn't really see that much of it in the UK. When I was a kid, you would see the movie versions, things like The Karate Killers and uh, you know the, the other ones that were stitched together from various episodes and had played theatrically. Um, sometimes running as a season of them, sometimes just being shown as one-offs, but the actual show just didn't get any repeated airplay, as far as I recall from when I was a kid. You know, I always tended to think of The Man From U.N.C.L.E. in film terms rather than in TV show terms. But I was, as I say, I was a big fan. I got lots of Man From U.N.C.L.E. novelizations and novel tie-ins. And was really glad to finally be able to catch up with the series when it was being shown on British TV much later, back in the in the cable days, the satellite days. 
I think Guy Ritchie's film is it's a movie that you know pays homage to the original show it's certainly not one of those reinventions that dismisses it in any way shape or form but we live in a very different world very different times I'm not sure that something like The Man From U.N.C.L.E. works as well as it may have done once and clearly you know the whole reason that this movie exists is because of nostalgia, nostalgia for the title. You know, it's it's a remake that exploits the fact that people are aware of The Man From Uncle culturally, whether they remember the show or not. I mean, we can get into a long debate about whether modern audiences really pick up on these older legacy titles in the same way that film producers might do or even film critics i suspect that you know if you're a 20 something then the man from uncle may not mean very much to you you know this film itself will seem very old but nevertheless yeah it's nicely put together it has that kind of period feel which is good again they haven't tried to modernize it and they haven't tried to turn it into a comedy which is always the annoying thing when they do this sort of thing and bucket loads of extra content several new uh, featurettes of which i am on the one called the legacy of uncle um, i got alongside helen mccarthy and vic pratt essentially just talking about our love for the original TV show, really. Obviously, as a contributor to this, I have received this disc for free, but I'm not under any kind of obligation to review it in any way, shape or form, let alone say anything nice. So anything that I've said about this, you can just take as being my own personal opinion. If you enjoy this kind of content and you want to see more reviews of new discs, then just let us know. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, share. You may even wish to support us on Buy Me A Coffee or Patreon. If you've made it to the end, thanks for listening and I'll see you again very soon.